What's up, Whisker Warriors and Warrior Princesses? It's the Whisker Man with another Whisker Wellness tip. Today, we're gonna to talk about hairs and how razor bumps are caused by way of the different hair removal methods. So I got a little bit of a demonstration for you. This is the actual hair shaft. And the texture varies uh, depending on your body, but for the most part, this is what it looks like. You have hairs growing with the grain. So they're usually facing the same direction. Now there's two ways of removing these hair shafts that we're gonna demonstrate. And the first one is with an electric clipper. Zzz, boom. And that's what happens. You have this jagged, sort of serrated, messy, uneven tip of the shaft of hair that's just been cut by an electric clipper. And another method is with a razor blade. So swipe, boom. So you have a clean edge right here. You can see that if we were able to use an electron microscope and zoom in on the hair shaft, that is what we would see. Now, when you actually shave the hair, it falls. So let's say this is the clipper hair shaft, and this is the razor blade hair shaft. Now let's discuss the clipper hair shaft first. Now you can see it's, as I said, it's jagged, it's serrated, and because of that, your chances of getting a razor bump is very, very small. It's almost nil. And that's because this tip, as you can see, is so jagged and uneven that by the time it grows out and back into the skin, that tip won't penetrate. But as you can see with, let's move that, as you can see with this razor blade hair shaft that's just been cut, assuming, you know, this is the, this is, let's sort of, sort of go through this, this is the hair, it's been cut, and there it is right there. Now, Hopefully, you didn't go many plas passes with the blade because if you did, then the hair will fall beneath the skin and that'll cause an ingrown hair and that's harder to dig out. But if you went one pass, you'll see that one tip, that one nice clean edge. But razor bumps using this method are definitely more common because of that tip. As I'll demonstrate, that tip will just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And do you see that? You could see how that tip just pierces the skin. And that right there is a razor bump. And that how that is how it happens. So another challenge in removing the hair this way with a razor blade is the pre-razor bumps. So once again, the hair is cut, and so you have a little bit of hair peeking out. And as it grows, it's going to pierce your skin. Let's say this might be an average of two to three days after a good clean shave with a razor blade. Probably one blade or two blades. And those pre-razor bumps look kind of like little goosebumps. But you can tell that the hair hasn't, it hasn't already embedded itself into the skin yet. It hasn't caused a nice razor bump right here. It's just kind of that, that, that spearheaded edge or tip is just causing massive irritation. And this is why it does that. Now what'll lessen that, those pre-bumps, those pre-razor bumps and that shaving irritation is exfoliation. That's what we keep promoting on the, the Whisker channel. It's this idea of prevention it's sort of like when you brush your teeth, you're, you're, you know, you're constantly playing offense as opposed to defense. And when that hair, sort of tiny millimeter by millimeter that it's growing every hour, you know, when you exfoliate, you tease the hair away from the skin. Just tease it away, tease it away. And that lessens the irritation because that tip, this tip right here on the hair shaft is where that irritation is coming from. 
one thing I like to do is alternate my hair removal methods. So on Monday, I'll have a nice clean shave with a two bladed razor. And then it'll the hair will grow and grow. So by day three or four, I'll give it a nice, I'll give this a nice cut with an electric clipper and get rid of this. This is what I want to get rid of. But meanwhile, I'm exfoliating so I never get those pre-bumps, those sort of pre-razor bump shaving irritation because this hair is constantly moving. And of course, I don't shave every day or every other day because I don't want to keep lifting this hair and having the possibility of it falling beneath the skin and causing an ingrown. So I let it grow up a little bit and that's about two, three days. But like I said, again, I take this tip off and I use an electric clipper and I give it this, this, this doesn't look very attractive, but this, no one can see this unless you're Ant-Man. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a, uh, this is a tip that is definitely safer um, to prevent ingrown hairs. And so when this, when this is removed and this is caused, once again, you start off with a hair that's growing and growing. And like I said, you're, you're still exfoliating, teasing the hair away from the skin, teasing it, teasing it. And so when you're ready again, after three or four days, you come back again, you give it a shave, boom, cut, and then you repeat those steps again and so we're not talking about ingrowns you're not getting ingrowns at this point and you're obviously preventing razor bumps and you're obviously preventing pre razor bumps I also want to demonstrate why too many passes with a razor blade and also too many blades increases your chances of ingrown hairs so imagine that this black line is the level of the skin and you have a hair and the razor blade is coming and it's coming and it's not only cutting the tip of the hair shaft, but it's also lifting that tense, that, that sort of, it, it grips it. it. The blade comes here, but it, to, to, to make a nice clean cut, it lifts the hair ever so slightly. And you have your cut. Then as, as the blade leaves, the hair is released from the blade's grip in a sense and then the hair rests back in position now as you can see the hair is still above the level of the skin but as that second blade approaches or that second pass approaches you're going to repeat the process I've just demonstrated it's going to lift and fall and at this point it's already a clean shave but unfortunately the hair has fallen beneath the skin and as the hair continues to grow with no exit, you're going to have an ingrown hair and you're going to have to dig, the, dig that hair out or exfoliate properly to get it out. But that's why you want to avoid too many passes and too many blades.